share this channel on the internet. And welcome back, welcome back to the show, to the show, to the show. And have you noticed we have taken a few days from posting because you know it's the holidays, things you know it's kind of hard sometimes running around with the camera, but we're back at it again. Well, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys noticed that my kids went fishing and they got lucky on the west side. And I was thinking, and I was already thinking bad things about fishing in the west side, but they got lucky and they got huge lane snappers. Now, look at this, guys. When, if you're a fisherman, when have you seen a lane snapper this big? This is outrageous. This is like, this is like, they're like 16, 17 inches long. They're huge. And it's time to eat up. Look at this, guys. Look at, whoa, look at this. Look at this monster. This is a lane snapper. <laughs> this is crazy. We got plenty to eat. We already gave out to my dad to uh, Frequito's friend, and we still have plenty to go. So this is gonna be a cooking show, and we're gonna actually do them two different ways. One is gonna be the fish fingers that we know, we love, because I love fried stuff. And the other one, Ogita's gonna do it, the oven. I think today for lunch, we're gonna eat maybe the fried fingers, or the oven, I don't know. But whatever it is, you guys are gonna see it. Let's get with the cleaning, fishing, cooking show. That, notice? No one's out here but me. And I get stuck with the dirty work, but gotta do it, gotta do it. Let's go with the show. We're gonna select the big one. Okay, this is pretty big. <laughs> All right, so, so it's this one. Look at these things. Ah! Look at this guy. This is amazing. And look at this. Favorite fish right here. This is a yellow tip. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> this is just plain crazy. Vita said, keep the, the the four big ones out. So, the, I mean, there's still a few other ones. There's that one there. And these are one I guess she's gonna do in the oven. So look at that, guys. It's just, this is crazy. Yes, that's not a mutton. That's a lane snapper right there. That is just crazy. So, we're gonna do this on the oven. And then, Ovita, we're gonna, I'm gonna fillet those. Actually, I'm gonna do those quick. I'm gonna fillet those. And we still got a few more in there. We still got a few more. This is a typical lane snap already. That's a typical lane snap. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that, guys. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. I'm like in shock. And I was already thinking bad things about Cape Coral. There's no fishing other than the little snappers we catch over there on the, on the bridge. But this is just surprising, shocking. And yes, we're going back. We're going back to do some more fishing. Uh, so yeah, let me, let me stop talking and get to work. That's how easy it's done. You see it? Right here now, this is a yellowtail. To me, this is my favorite eating fish because it doesn't taste like fish. Um, and now that I got one filet right there, that's how easy it's done. We're gonna, we're gonna go to the next one. And you could do the whole thing with an electric knife, but sometimes the electric knife uh, kind of leaves, you know, I mean, kind of leaves leave some um some meat behind and i want to take advantage of the yellow toe meat so just 
till you get more into the crevices. Check out the meat from the lane snapper. It is white, it's delicious. Sometimes if you season it right, it tastes just like hogfish. And you know hogfish is one of the best eating fish. And there you go. There it is. Clean, baby, clean. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys a, a trick how to skill the fish without making a mess. So we got the big boys in there, right? So I'm gonna show you guys a trick. You put the fish, you submerge the fish in, in uh, water, right? And now you go ahead and use your scaler. I like this one because it doesn't poke, it's kind of dirty, but it's just staying for all the blood and all that, all the dip, oh, all, all the fish killing we'll be doing. All right, you can use that or a regular scaler that is, this one, this one's kind of rusted, but it works. But this is the trick. I'm gonna show you guys how to scale a fish. Maybe you have it inside a house. Well, we're doing it outside, but if you have it inside, you can do it like this, and you don't get scales everywhere in the house. All right, so here we go. It's under the water, right? There you go. See, you just kill a fish. See how the scales are coming off? And no mess. No flying scale through the kitchen. So. A pretty good trick for those people that love fishing and their wives don't let them take the fish inside because that makes a mess. So what you do is you plug out your sink, fill it up with water, and you scale the fish in the water. Look at that guys. Look at that. Look at that lane slash mutton snapper. <laughs> so there it is. Now I'm gonna do the rest. Ladies, favorite thing, eat the gut and the fish. <laughs> All right, so this is what I like to do. I like to put it in the butt and then cut it out right in the center, right through the center, right there, and a little bit further back, and start taking out all the guts. I haven't done this in a while. Normally I just cut the head off and that's it. I don't mess with the guts. But since we're gonna do it in the oven, that's one right there. Yeah, definitely you don't wanna drip stuff through the house. 
<laughs> Cause you know how ladies, you know. I understand. You clean the house. These are heavy. Must be like 15 pound of fish here. This is crazy. She got an early start. She's gonna, I guess she's gonna cut up all these things right here. So we got the fish there. We lay there. In my mouth right here, cause I'm gonna eat them today. All right, so we got the master chef and like I said, I should ready to go. Yeah, master chef. So what you what you plan to do with this? You're gonna bake these, right? Yeah, I'm gonna put them in the oven. Okay. So this is. Can gonna... I see? I can't. Yeah, I can't no, yeah, that's what I said. Because this is gonna be for Cape Coral tomorrow, right? Uh huh. Mm. Today we're gonna eat the. the Today fillets. we're gonna eat this. Breaded chicken fingers. Oh, breaded fish fingers. Mm -hmm. So she's getting this prepared. Look at them. Look at them muttons. I mean, sorry. Look at them lanes. Lane. Uh, Looking like these muttons. These are nice. These are really nice. They're these done. are the biggest lanes record. I'm going to have to look that up. What's the biggest record lane caught? Because the, the biggest one we caught, I think, was 18 inches. So I'm going to have to check that. Look at that. Got all the things these red. We're, we're eating today. Yeah, these we're gonna eat for lunch. Right now, cause I'm hungry, I'm hungry. And you know I, that um, the labor I had to do back there got me going, got me hungry. So, you know, gotta get the energy back. So now she, what she, she doing mojo on fish, dog. So we eating a Cuban style fish, fish, big fish. Now she's gonna prepare the main ingredients, and that is egg milk and fish. So there you go, you gotta dunk it in. Uh oh, fish falling apart. And then from here to the fryer. And then from the fryer to my mouth. And let the frying begin. Yeah, okay, so well, how many how many fillets we got? Like 40? Uh, no, not like, 40 no. Like, okay, 35. 35 fillets. Let's see if we can eat them all. I think we could. The sizzling, boy, the sizzling. Mmm, look at that, almost smells good. You got them there, you got them here. As soon as, it, as soon as we start eating, I'm gonna I'm give you guys the final verdict on the taste of Oguita's uh, Mojo Criollo Filets in La Casa. All right, guys, this is the moment of truth. Mm. Mm. Tastes like chicken. Fish that tastes like chicken. No, it tastes good. Mmm. One more try. Mmm. Oh yeah. White meat. Mmm. Gary. So good. Mmm. Look at all. Look at them all. They all come. Look, 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 look. You don't want to be on camera. Yeah. They smell this so they start coming. I'll tell you good. Freeze a minute. How is it? And well, like you've noticed, this is a three step process. You gotta go out there fishing, then you gotta clean them. And now you gotta cook them, but the reward is awesome because you get to eat some fresh homemade fish and they taste delicious. And definitely, you know we're gonna go back to that spot and catch some more huge lane snappers. I can't let the kids have all the fun. This time, I'm going along for the ride. And remember guys, if you wanna keep up with the daily posts, make sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and even Twitter and I would like to thank those people that leave those awesome comments on the videos and for those people that have noticed we have changed our posting now we're posting at Sunday 12 o'clock 
Tuesday at 12 o'clock and Thursday for throwback at 12 o'clock. So thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time out on the water or maybe even in the kitchen. It doesn't really matter where you do it, just as long as you do it with your family and friends and enjoy yourselves. And until then, let's keep having fun in the sun.